What's happening, my film nerds? Date with the Film Junkie here, bringing you a trailer review of X-Men Apocalypse. Of course, this, uh, this is pretty sad because we know this is probably Brian Singer's last X-Men movie. We know, in fact, that Hugh Jackman will be hanging up his claws soon, and uh, pretty much he's just establishing a new X-Men world. He's rehashing, going all the way back to the 80s, and, um, you know, just setting it up for other people, I guess, to take it over because who knows how many more X-Men movies are going to be. Probably a ton. And the footage they show in a pair, I mean, they've only been shooting for about five weeks, so I had to put, like, five weeks of footage to Together. So it's not even full footage. That's probably why they're not going to release it online at all until they actually have some legit shit. Um, I mean, the trailer shows, it starts off by showing Jean Grey is having visions of an apocalyptic future. Not apocalyptic, but just like people dying. You know, like just, you know, something's happening and people are just getting their fucking asses killed. And then you get some narration from Oscar Isaac, of course, playing Apocalypse, and he's had many names. And uh, you just kind of get a tone of his character and what he's all about. Then, of course, you see Dr. Xavier, uh, James McAvoy. I mean, he actually tells Gene they're just dreams. Don't worry about it. He's still got the hair. And then they start investigating this, you know, this character. I forgot his, like, other name. Krishna? 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 Kushi Kushi? And turns out, and they find out that he was the very first mutant and even says, like, oh, all are you and my children and blah, blah, blah. So he was the one that started it all. And apparently he could control mutants. And so he gets some of the good people. Now, well, even though Magneto's not really good, but he gets... Some of those people to be like his four horsemen. Storm, I guess, is one of them as well. She's also rocking that fucking mohawk that we've seen in iterations of it. It looks t straight out of the fucking comic book. I mean, you see everybody too. You see a little bit of, you see Nightcrawler, you see Scott, you see a little bit of everybody. I don't think you really saw Olivia Munn though. It's hard to tell. And then it just ends with like Dr. X, like with um, Cerebro on. And he's just like going, I've never felt power like this before. Like something's going on. We don't exactly know what, but then the, the closing shot, bald Xavier, yay! It's just like, that's what, for some reason, I'm just like, yes, that's your fucking, your, your Professor X. So I'm pretty excited for this movie. The footage that was shown just looks great. It looks like a great continuation. Um, I also saw too, Brian, Brian Singer posted earlier, um, he took a selfie with Channing Tatum, so it looks like there is going to be a Gambit cameo after all. See, they always throw it off. Who knows? There might be a Deadpool one too. We don't know. We don't exactly know. We'll see what happens. But let me know what you thought about the trailer down below in the balls there. Also, hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel too. Visit FilmJunkie.com for all my videos. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. It's all down there free to click. All right, guys. I'm Dave, the Film Junkie, and this has been a trailer review of X-Men Apocalypse. Fucking A, man. I mean, I did four reviews today, and then there's still Civil War. There's still Gambit. There's still Wolverine, right? No, is Wolverine coming out next year? Dude, there's just so much goodness coming out next year. It's so great. So good. All right, guys.